next day we're gonna recover what was stolen and buy me a new camera yeah and also have some fun celebrating in the sun yeah celebrating the purchase and celebrating the 20,000 subscribers 20,000 people who believe in us because we are in the beautiful country Thailand yeah in <laughs> Bangkok I hope today will be a success and if not you will know <laughs> <laughs> in Bangkok we rented an apartment really close to the sky train the metro in Bangkok and I would recommend it to everyone because with sky train you can get to many popular locations in the city and here we saw someone living here right next to the train station it's really easy to use the sky train and in the next video we will show it to you how to buy a ticket but now let's get inside and as you can see during the daytime it's uh, quite comfortable to be there there are not too many people but in the rush hour i must admit it can get quite busy and especially if you're in bangkok for one or two days a sky train ride may be a good way to see a bit of the city in thailand i will send three signed postcards to subscribers and to get one please leave a comment below and recommend us a place in thailand we should visit and in the next video i will choose and announce the winners now we are in the city center and we are going to this shopping mall, it's called Central World. And in many videos about Bangkok you can see this location. It's popular both with tourists and with locals. The traffic here is very busy. The shopping mall itself is very big and you can find almost anything you want there from clothes and electronics and the movie theater and many restaurants and the food court. And actually our first stop will be at the food court because we need lunch and my tip to every foreigner who comes to Thailand for the first time and wants to try local Thai food street food if you're afraid to eat right on the street first try to eat at a food court and the system there works like this you put some money on a cash card for example one or two or three hundred Thai baht and then you go to the food court you choose what you like and you will pay with that card right now in November is it's getting busier and busier in popular tourist locations and especially place like this it's popular both with foreigners and with locals we were there at lunchtime and as you can see there were quite some people at that food court we saw all kinds of food of course local Thai food but also Korean Japanese and some Western food we decided to try uh, meals with beef and of course uh, compared to eating on the street here I would say it's more expensive on the street you can eat for 40 to 50 Thai baht for a meal and here one meal cost us 125 baht but the pros of eating at a food court is it is more hygienic and the quality of food might be slightly higher and here in these meals for example we get quite a lot of meat or Thai dish and for western prices 125 baht is still quite affordable so for everyone coming to Bangkok I personally would recommend coming to this food court and after you had your meal meal you probably would have some money remaining on the cash cards so you need to return them and get your cash back as you see in the shopping mall they are already getting ready to celebrate Christmas but we actually came here with a mission because here recently they opened up an Apple store and I wanted to buy myself finally a new camera a new phone If you saw our previous videos earlier about a month ago in Vietnam my phone was stolen and it was my main camera for many people it's a surprise that that's the camera I use but yeah a bit later in the video I will talk about it why I use iPhone as the main camera and we are not sponsored by Apple but this is the camera that I use and in fact in Bangkok there are two official Apple stores and because our next destination was Bangkok we decided to to take this chance and get me the new phone what do you have there i have a new phone Aww. Aww. 
So after we got out, we decided to walk around a bit in the city center and get a coffee. As you can see, a lot of tuk-tuks are here waiting for uh, foreigners to give them a ride. But personally, I would recommend to just either use a taxi or a sky train because tuk-tuks usually are less convenient and they might even charge you more. This area, as you see, is very popular for tourists and locals to come and shop. So we also stopped for a coffee and enjoyed it in this small coffee shop. And after that, we are moving to our next destination, Lumpini Park. It's one of the most famous parks in Bangkok. On the way, we went to a 7-Eleven shop. And if you don't know, they are very popular small corner shops. And there you can get all the essentials. Mm, that's my favorite. The sweet. And the drinks. M150. We lived for a week, whole week of this. Prepared them. They are not bad. They are actually quite good. Pizza. Even a piece of pizza. A 39 baht. Clothes for expensive. And, uh, chocolate lovers have to be prepared. Wine. No price. Well, I guess it's the beer for two chunks. Oh, that's the prices for wine here. Yeah. Three fifty-nine. Quite, quite expensive. Nine ninety-nine, a thousand bucks. Here, yeah, three fifty-nine. Most of them. We are walking more through the central part of Bangkok and as you can see it is a concrete jungle. The skyscrapers are everywhere. If you don't like skyscrapers you probably will not enjoy Bangkok so much but I personally love them and I lived in Bangkok for a year and a half. To me the advantage of living in such a big city is that there is always something to do, something is happening, people coming and going, a lot of events, culture, movie theaters everywhere, art galleries, restaurants it can get messy it can get busy but that's the price you pay for living in such a vibrant city all of the skyscrapers and the power lines that's a quite classical picture in thailand old people move out new people move in and they just cut out the old lines and put on the new lines on top. And yeah, that's how all of this happens. So yeah. I finally got my camera back and I know for many people it's just a phone, it's like nothing but I have a personal story is that it's connected to this channel that I actually started making videos when I bought a more expensive phone and with a good camera and I was so impressed with the quality of the videos, of the photos that I just got inspired to film just everything and it was also in Bangkok so the cycle 
I think it was three years ago, 2019. At some point it got more serious and last year I got an upgrade with a one terabyte and like a latest phone. And then it was stolen from us in Vietnam recently, unfortunately. Now I got it back, so that's what I also wanted to say to everyone who wants to do videos for YouTube or for any social media. You might think that you need a professional camera, but for every beginner I say don't wait till you have money for a big fanciest camera with those lenses. It's really easy to make videos on, with just the phone. So many places where you just cannot go with your big camera, like in a shopping mall or at the restaurant or even at some event, uh, they see a professional camera, they say no, no filming. But if people just see you pointing your iPhone everywhere, nobody thinks you're doing it semi-professionally for YouTube, for example. Yeah, sometimes in shops they can tell you no filming, but most of the times nobody takes you seriously. And that's good, that means you can shoot in places and shoot people and you have more creative freedom. Of course, you, sh you should be mindful and don't film people that potentially might not like it, might not want their faces or what they're doing on YouTube. Of course, you have to be considerate. But overall, yeah, all you need is just a good phone with a camera. It doesn't have to be Apple or whatever. We are not sponsored by them. But a good phone and you're ready to go. You can be as creative as you want to be and the quality is good enough to upload to YouTube. And most of our videos are made with uh, this phone and with a GoPro. I'm filming now on GoPro and actually GoPro is worse it has the worst quality overall it's good at filming on a bike or when you're walking too too fast then yeah gopro is better the stabilization is better but just for the quality of, of the picture quality iphone is good enough so yeah for me it's a source of inspiration so i don't have to take my husband's phone again <laughs> all the time so yeah that's that's why I'm happy uh, that I have it again. It's not just a status thing for me. It's my tool that helps me express myself creatively. And while there are things that I don't enjoy doing for YouTube, like editing or sometimes making the covers or other stuff, I do truly enjoy the filming and I enjoy sharing what I see, what I experience, where I go with other people and yeah, thank you everyone who gives likes, who gives thumbs up, who leaves comments, who subscribes. It is giving confidence to go on, it does show me that somebody enjoys it. I'm making it not just for fun or whatever, but somebody actually enjoys it and I'm actually sitting next to a pretty Chinese pavilion in Lumpini Park and my husband is somewhere there Hello Hello Jess What's your name? My name is Rene Can I get to know you? Okay Okay <laughs> What's your opinion about Bangkok? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, well the thing is for me I just don't like big cities in general it's overwhelming. It's it's, it's a two it's a two-way street. Um, I you can find everything in a big city, and that I do like. But it's always crowded. There I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there is something uh -huh. really really big, <laughs> and that's that. Oh, you would want to see it. Oh, but there is the Baran guy too.
now it was time for dinner and we walked inside by chance into this uh, local restaurant and we ourselves we like to have it balanced sometimes we eat at a more local place and sometimes we eat at a more expensive restaurant but what i find uh, good about local places like this is that usually the cooks there usually it's the women and they cook uh, essentially the same meals over and over for years and that makes them really professional at it so they cook it to perfection in fact this uh, traditional tom yum soup it was very tasty and i do enjoy it it's a staple food in thailand and essentially you cannot go to thailand and not try it and this is how you do it you take a bit of rice and then you eat it with the soup everyone who tried it i guess you know the feeling of coming back to thailand and eating tom yum again nothing beats that feeling Right after that, we are going to the Sky Bar to celebrate 20,000 people believing in us and subscribing to the channel. We do appreciate the likes and the comments, both positive and negative. And if you have ideas or suggestions where we could film or what topic we should cover, please leave them in the comments, we would be happy to hear it. In this month we are living in Thailand and we'll be sharing our experiences here, so please subscribe to the channel if you want to see it.